Hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudhiyalam with a new class series, a new class video. Uh, this is about uh, uh, the enzymes for food processing. That's why I took this particular slide. I'm very thankful to the one who published this uh, this particular image in the, into the Google. Uh, uh, okay, wherever I get, I'm, I'm, I'm giving the full credit to, to that person who has created this very good slide to understand uh, the different enzymes, different uh, purpose of enzymes. So it is not about what you ingest, but what you digest that matters. What a quote. So very good thought. So five types of enzymes mentioned. So many are there. Okay, this is a new. It gives the importance of uh, the enzymes in uh, the food processing industry. Okay, moving on to the uh, introduction of this particular class. This is the biology for engineers class series for um, computer science engineering of Vishwasara Technology University, module two, part seven. Uh, this is the syllabus mentioned here. We are moving to the uh, food processing with enzymes. Enzymes in, in food processing, that is particular field. Okay, very interesting field. That's why I took it separate uh, application. Uh, this is actually uh, application oriented. Uh, so please do subscribe my YouTube channel. Support my, uh, like the videos, uh, share the videos. My in YouTube channel is My Intuition 4865. Uh, it is run by me, my uh, son Shamanta, as well as my wife, Dr. Savita MB. We three to contribute to this channel in various way. Okay, so this is module two applications of biomolecules, biology for engineers for computer science engineering stream. Okay, this is what I started with. So, question illustrate the use of enzymes in uh, food processing, highlight a specific enzymes and their roles connected to post outcome one with the uh, level of. Question is 3, RBT level is 3, 10 marks. Introduction of enzyme in food processing, 2 parts. Specific enzyme used is 3 marks. Role of these enzymes, 3 marks. Benefit in food processing, 2 marks. Market distribution and all very easy. Understanding uh, this concept is also very easy. So, easily can uh, score any question uh, if, if it is asked for 5 marks, if it is asked for 3 marks, or if it is 10 marks, also you are able to, able to answer it in a way. Uh, by exp uh, by explaining or by expanding this which I am giving in this slide okay anyhow this slide I will be giving under the description box as PDF you can uh, download it and uh, keep it as a reference now uh, the in food processing uh, the role of enzyme enzymes they play uh, they play a very uh, crucial role by catalyzing the biochemical reactions which modify the the food properties they enhances the flavor uh, they enhances the texture or the, the feel, the nutritional value, and they improve the processing efficiency of the food. So they are uh, naturally occurring biologi uh, biological catalysts. These enzymes, uh, they are typically uh, they they actually uh, proteins uh, which accelerate the chemical reaction without being uh, consumed in the process or without being uh, involved in the reaction. In food industry, the application, uh, if I say. It is widely used in various food processing applications, which include the uh, the baking, uh, brewing, uh, dairy, meat processing, uh, fruit and vegetable processing, uh, beverage production, etc. Moving to the next topic, that is specific enzymes which are used. Examples are given. One is amylase. The main source of amylase uh, it is derived from uh, from wheat or barley. Or it can be made by by from the microbial sources like bacteria or fungi. The main role of uh, amylase uh, in uh, hydro it, it hydrolyzes the starch molecule into smaller sugars uh, like uh, maltose or glucose during the during the starch processing uh, or uh, during the baking uh, or brewing and even alcohol production. Second important example main important example there are many are there commonly very easy. One I took three proteases. The main source of proteases is from animals, even plants, or the microbial sources like bacteria, fungi. The role of uh, proteases is to break down uh, the protein into peptides and uh, amino acids, which, which in, in improving the flavor or texture as well as uh, as well as the digestibility processes like uh, meat tenderization or cheese production and even brewing. Then comes lipases. The source of lipases is microbial sources like bacteria and uh, uh, fungus or current gone. Okay, yeah. gender is getting on. Okay, I think you can see me. No, I am disappeared. Hello, 
enzymes please help me okay i'll continue the class you can uh, my face is not so important the slide is very important lipases this is main source of uh, lipases mycobacterium like bacteria and fungus the role of lipases is in catalyzing uh, the the hydrolysis of a fat into fatty acids and glycerol uh, contributing to the flavor or uh, development means flavor development and uh, shelf life extension uh, in the uh, dairy processing it is used in baking and uh, cheese ripening also okay so main role is to hydrolyze the fatty acids to glycerol uh, fatty acids and glycerol moving to the role of enzymes a role of enzymes uh, uh, like the amylase the starch hydrolysis it break down uh, the complex starch molecule into simpler sugars Uh, which facilitate the fermentation uh, in in the brewing uh, as well as alcohol production it is used in duff conditioning uh, means it enhances the duff consistency and uh, volume in baking by breaking down the starches into into the fermentable uh, sugars the proteases uh, it mainly used in the meat tender uh, tenderization uh, Uh, it breaks down the muscle proteins to improve the tenderness and uh, palatability in the meat products. Okay, it uh, in cheese production or cheese ripening, uh, it contribute to the flavor development and uh, and uh, the texture modification by hydrolyzing uh, uh, casein uh, proteins during uh, cheese aging. Then uh, lipases, lipases. Uh, okay, see lipases. Uh, in flavor development the hydrolysis uh, triglycerides into free fatty acids which contribute to the uh, flavoring profile hi am back okay flavoring profile of uh, dairy products um, uh, like cheese then shelf life uh, generate fatty acids uh, that inhibit uh, uh, the microbial growth uh, extending the shelf life of cheese and uh, and other uh, lipid containing products now the benefits in uh, food processing uh, uh, the enhanced uh, efficiency enzymes allows uh, for faster processing times it reduces the energy consumption compared to the traditional methods which improves the production efficiency as well as uh, reduces the cost then improved product quality enzymes they enables uh, uh, precise control over uh, processing parameters which leads to consistent uh, product quality enhanced uh, flavor the texture and uh, nutritional values that's about this particular class video uh, thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day thank you